Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and this is take two on this video. I don't know what happened last time, but I got cut off. So here we go. We're going to do standard algorithm, and we're going to do a tape diagram. So I'm going to try to do these as fairly quickly as possible, but yet still making sure you understand. I'm not quite sure why we have focusing going on here, but um, this is something new with this dot cam. So we're going with it. So here's our little breakup. This nine on the bottom, the denominator tells us how many parts to make. So parts. This tells us how many to color in. And this numerator over here tells me how many to circle. Okay, so I'm not quite sure why this is doing this. Hey, let's find out. All right, so you're gonna, I'm gonna be doing some erasing. You're not. You're gonna keep it as is, okay? I'm trying to get this as focused as possible. Not really sure why it keeps blurring in and out, but we're going with it. I gotta make nine boxes. Five, nine. Try to make them roughly all the same size, and we have to color in eight. And then we have to circle them in groups of four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We have no more to circle, so we have two holes. So the answer to this question is two. So if we were to do this in standard algorithm, now you're not going to make this that big. You're, you have a pencil. When I have a marker, it's a little bit harder. We're going to do standard algorithm. Standard algorithm is just like yesterday. We take the original problem and we drop, change, flip, drop. Change the division sign to a time sign, flip the other fraction over. We get 72 on top, 36 on the bottom, and 36 can go into 72 twice. That matches. Now, if you did diagonal crossouts, you could have taken out the 9s and made them 1, and then you have 8 over 4, which is equal to 2. So they're all whichever way you do it. So if you're a regular straight across, copy this. If you're a diagonal cross out, copy this. If you want to copy in both, that's great. I'm going to erase this, but you don't. You have to put it in your notes and figure out some way. You could split this whole bottom into four parts so that you could um, put one question in each. Number two is tape diagram. They have the same bottom, so I have to make sets of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have to color in nine of them. Remember, set to 10, color in 9, circle 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I circled two big groups, but I have one left over. And how many are in a circle? Four. Denominator is always how many are in the circle, okay, or in the oval. So now in standard algorithm, we would do 9 tenths divided by 4 tenths. Drop change, flip. We get 90 over 40. We can cross out a row of zeros because that's dividing by 10. So 9. 4 goes into 9 twice to make 8. One left over out of a denominator of 4. If you didn't know how to do that, you could take 90 divided by 40. You see that goes in twice to make 80. You got 10 left over 2 and 10 fortieths. 10 fortieths is one fourth when you simplify. I'm going to get rid of this. You would keep it. You have to figure out how you're going to brace this all out. Now, if you notice on number three, it does not have a common denominator yet. So you have to get a common denominator first. We're going to use 15 because five times three is 15. Easiest way to do that when it comes to a tape diagram. Five goes to 15 by three. So we have to times the top by that. There's my nine. 3 goes to 15 by 5, so we do it to its top. Now we can build this tape diagram. We need a set of 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. Color in 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Group them in groups of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't circle groups. So I have one full group. 
four leftovers, and what's in my group? Five. My answer is one and four fifths. Now, when you are doing your standard algorithm, you can either use the original or the one you fixed. It's up to you. If you use the one you fixed, you have a diagonal you can cross out once you flip it. If you don't, you go back to the regular one and you have three fifths divided by one third. Drop, change, flip. Straight across, nine fifths. That's this. How many fives are in a nine? One. Leftovers, four. One and four fifths. Same answer right there. I'm getting rid of this. If you didn't copy it down, you rewind it. That's the great thing about a flipped classroom. Number four is going to come down here, okay? Number four, we have three-fourths divided by one-fifth. we got to get a common denominator, so we're going to use 20 because we times two bottoms. Four goes to 20 by five. Three times five is 15. Five goes to 20 by four. We have a four. Okay, now we're ready to draw. We need a set of 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, color in 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Group them in groups of four. Okay, I'm going to do this one in red for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, circle. One, two, three, four, circle. One, two, three, four, circle. One, two, three. Can't circle. How many groups did I circle? Three. How many are left over? Three. What's in a group? Four. That's my denominator. Three and three fourths. So if we were to drop, change, flip this, do a standard algorithm. We'd have three-fourths divided by one-fifth, drop, change, flip, straight across, 15-fourths, divide it, four goes into 15 three times to make 12, three leftovers, three and three-fourths, same answer. And as always, this is Miss Bobby, and I love math. Diet Coke. Wish Diet Coke Company would send me some Diet Coke for saying this so many times. <laughs>